Hey there, travelers. This week's animal is so nice, it was scientifically named twice. Actually, thrice. This week's animal is Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla. Also known as the Western Lowland Gorilla. The gorilla is the largest living primate. A male gorilla can reach a height of six feet tall and weigh about 500 pounds. The females are a little bit smaller, only reaching a height of about four feet and weighing only about 250 pounds. They're typically found in the lowland tropical forests of Central Africa. And although they can climb trees, they're typically found on the ground in groups of up to 30. These groups are known as troops and are led by one alpha male known as the silverback. You may be surprised to hear that they get their name from the silver fur on their back. Well, I got a silver head, so I reckon I must be an alpha. Sorry, Grandpa Trav, but the Alpha is the toughest, roughest, strongest of all the troop. The Silverback decides all group activities. He decides where to eat, what to eat, where to go next, and where to nest. And those who challenge the Alpha male will face the wrath of the Silverback. Ooh, that's my god animal, brother! The Silverback will use its physique to intimidate the opponent. The Silverback will stand upright, throw things, make aggressive charges, and beat its enormous chest while letting out barking roars and large hoots and hollerings. Hoot, 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 hollerin', hollerin', hollerin'. Despite these displays and the animal's physical power, they're actually quite calm and non-aggressive unless they're disturbed. These gorillas love where they live because in the forests of Central Africa, they can find all their food. Gorillas are herbivores, meaning they mostly eat fruits and veggies with the occasional termite here and there. Scientists have found that their diet consists of over 100 different plant species. I know there are a lot of plants on the menu, so please take your time. The gorilla's favorite food includes roots, shoots, fruits, wild celery, and tree pulp and bark. Sir, I'm afraid to say we're out of the wild celery. <laughs> Gorillas, especially males, have a really strong body odor. The intensity of their smell varies with their mood and is a part of their complex social behavior. You wouldn't want to smell me when I'm hungry. I wouldn't want to smell me when I'm hungry. Oh, thank you. Female gorillas give birth to one infant after about a nine month pregnancy. Unlike its powerful parents, this young gorilla is only about four pounds when it's first born and has to cling to his mother's fur for survival. These infants ride on their mother's back from about four months up until two to three years old. That's adorable. Young gorillas from about the age three to six years old remind scientists of human children. They love to play. They climb trees. They chase each other, and they swing from the branches. In fact, gorillas share a lot of traits with humans. For instance, they have 32 teeth, just like us. 31, 32, yep, yep, they're all here. And in captivity, they know human words, and have even been known to beat humans in short-term memory tests. Can you repeat your last line? Uh, uh, I don't know. Bring in the gorilla. No, wait, 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 I can do this. In the wild, they use tools to catch their food. They have excellent color vision and a great sense of smell as well. Not bad, still keep the gorilla on standby, guys. <laughs> the Western lowland gorilla is considered endangered by the IUCN. Man is the main predator of the gorilla. Poaching for bushmeat has dwindled their numbers in the wild. As the African rainforest is harvested for lumber, man encroaches onto the gorilla's turf. There are some projects that are helping out gorillas in the wild. The World Wildlife Fund is working really hard on strengthening their protected lands. They're supporting the gorilla tracking system to find out what migratory patterns look like. They're helping local communities focus on ecotourism to boost their economy and help out gorillas in the wild. The Jane Goodall Institute does incredible work with gorillas in Africa. You can find out more on our website as well as their websites, which you can find in the comments below. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. If there's an animal you want to learn more about, email us at asktravstravels at gmail.com. Also, check out our Facebook and Twitter page for cool information about gorillas, as well as all the other animals we do. As always, thanks for checking us out, and ooh, keep on traveling. <laughs> Sir, we do have the shoots, fruits, and roots. <laughs>